happy the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry joined those attending the multi-faith service, as our royal correspondent Nicholas Witchell tells us. Two weeks after shocking events which occurred almost within its precincts, at Westminster Abbey, a service symbolising hope. Leaders of the different faith communities from across the United Kingdom were joined in the congregation by the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry, together with members of the emergency services, some of those who were injured, and some of the bereaved, including Melissa Cochran, whose husband Kurt was one of the four people who died. Candles were lit to represent the light which can never be extinguished by the darkness of terror. In his address, the Dean of Westminster recalled that among those who were directly affected by the attack were people from Britain and 12 other nations. He posed the question so many have asked, why? What could possibly motivate a man to hire a car and take it from Birmingham to Brighton to London? and then drive it fast at people he'd never met, couldn't possibly know, against whom he had no personal grudge, no reason to hate them, and then run at the gates of the Palace of Westminster to cause another death. We weep for the violence, for the hatred, for the loss of life, for all that divides and spoils our world. Prayers were offered, pledging respect between different communities. That the best of Muslims is the one who utters beautiful words, who does virtuous deeds. Two weeks after the Westminster attack, from an ancient abbey which has borne witness to so much, a message of hope. Nicholas Witchell, BBC News. Well, as we saw there, one of those attending the service was Melissa Cochran. She and her husband, Kurt.